Greetings, my fellow Camtasiacs. Today, we're going to learn about the effects drawer and timed effects. Let's dig in. So I'm looking at my timeline. I've got a basic screen recording with a mic track here. And if I click on this piece of media and look at the properties panel, you can see I already have a number of different cursor effects applied. Well, another way of looking at where the effects are is to use the effects drawer. And every piece of media that has effects applied to it will have this little carrot affordance on it. And when I click on that and push up, uh, what I'll see is all of the effects and, uh, and the span, the duration of those effects on that piece of media. And some effects you can't adjust the duration, but others are what are known as timed effects, and you can adjust the duration of those effects. So let's learn how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and apply a new effect right now. I'm going to just drag this cursor smoothing down onto my piece of media. And now you can see it spans the entire duration. Well, I can adjust the duration of the cursor effect, and I'm going to go ahead and drag the, the, the affordance right there at the end of that clip. And I'm going to pull that all the way back. And I'm going to say right about here is where I want cursor smoothing to end. So I, uh, I like to, to sometimes circle objects. And cursor smoothing is great. It'll sort of really make that path elegant, smooth out all the fluctuations, make it look sleek and sexy. But what goes on, too, is it also removes some of my dramatic movements that are pointing some things out on the screen. So in this particular case, I've got this movement right here that I want not to have a cursor smoothing effect applied to. And now about right here, we'll go ahead and apply the smoothing effect again. So I can go ahead and drag the cursor smoothing effect down. Or another way I can do it is I can copy. I'm going to just Command C, that effect, in the effects drawer. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to Command V. And you can see the effect was added. Flip the drawer back open. There you can see it was applied where the playhead was at. And then if I drag it out here, it'll be all the way through the end of the duration of that piece of media. All right, so that's the effects drawer, and that's the time duration effects. Many, many effects can have time durations. Go check them out. I hope you enjoyed these tips. I'll see you next time.